It is the nightcap of a five-match Saturday in USL League One as an upstart Northern Colorado side hosts one of American soccer's eldest outfits in the Richmond Kickers. You are watching USL League One on ESPN Plus from the Future Legends Complex tonight. Sam Goldfarb here bringing you all of the action as Northern Colorado Hailstorm is in pursuit of history tonight, trying to be the first club in league history to go 12 matches on key. Let's take a look here at the USL League One standings. As you can see, Northern Colorado Hailstorm, top of the table, two points clear. They were three points clear entering tonight. A major step for a club that missed the postseason last year. Meanwhile, Richmond Kickers, an odd sight beneath the playoff cut line and some teams above them with some games in hand. They've got just one win in their last five contests. They're desperate to get things trending in the right direction. Well, the big storyline tonight is the battle of two of the premier goal scorers in all of USL League One. The man pacing the bunch is Trevor Ammon. He's got 14 goals to his name, fresh off that brace against Union Omaha, scored an absolute stunner in the late first half to get things underway there and then polished things off in the 73rd. He's been terrific this year. He scored in his last four, and he is four off the single season record for goals in a campaign in USL League One. A player who's becoming just the full striker, according to coach Eamon Zayed. Well, the man who holds that league record is Emiliano Terzaghi. He's got nine goals and has started to get going of late. Eight goals in his last eight after just one goal in his first nine contests. He's just been an unbelievable goal score throughout his tenure. There's not enough you can say about him. And coach Darren Sawatsky says Richmond's done a better job servicing him, getting him more free looks in the box. And as a result, his goal scoring has picked up. If Richmond hopes to keep up with one of the league's best attacks, he's going to be crucial. Just about set for kickoff here from the Future Legends Complex in Windsor, Colorado. The Hailstorm look to etch their names into the USL League One history books against Richmond when we return on ESPN+. Plus. Lineups and kickoffs next. Stick with us on ESPN+. Plus. Welcome. I'm Jason Olskart. I'm here with Jackie and Michelle, and we are the Olskart team powered by C3 Real Estate Solutions. We are proud to partner with Future Legends to help fulfill the lifestyle needs, wants, and desires of each family who wants to call Colorado home. C3 stands for character, culture, and commitment. That is core to who we are and the exceptional value that every client will experience when working with us. If you value working with an experienced team, we invite you to reach out to schedule a time to meet with us. Shields All Sports Store is your one stop for everything outdoors with local experts eager to guide you through the widest selection of brands. Your one stop for exercise gear to get working out or fashions for going out. And your one stop for footwear in your size, your style, yours to take home today. Shields, employee owned, community minded and like no place you've ever shopped before. It's a new day, Northern Colorado, and we're set to seize it. More than that, we're out to dent the old standard and set the gold standard. Today is about resilience. That's something our squad has shown and continues to show. Today is about growth. That's a trait this team and this town have seen and continue to see. All this time, the focus has been on our community's legendary future. But today, it dawned on us. The future is now. Are we building something special? Hell yeah, we are. Bunch is Trevor Ammon. He's got 14 goals to his name, fresh off that Back brace here against on Union ESPN Omaha. Plus from the Future Legends the Complex. Northern Colorado me. Hailstorm and Richmond Kickers getting set to square off for the third and final time this season in the USL League One slate. Let's take a look at how this series has unfolded. Northern Colorado with the advantage, a win and a draw. In the first match, it was a nil-nil draw, and Coach Eamon Zayed and Colin Falvey, the assistant, said it was a match where 
Northern Colorado is more focused on their defensive solidity, not getting overwhelmed by the moment at City Stadium. And they were pretty pleased. Then in game two, Valentin Sabella struck when the attack was hot and things pretty much unfolded brilliantly from there. Trevor Ammon in the 84th polished things off to kickstart his recent hot stretch. And the last time these two teams met in Windsor, it was a 2-0 victory for Northern Colorado. Here's your look at Northern Colorado's 11. It's pretty standard, 3-4-3 formation. The big change here is Rob Cornwall is back in the 11. He missed last weekend due to an illness. Meanwhile, Trevor Ammon still leading the line up front. The big absence is Enoch Kwakwo, who picked up a red card last time out. Meanwhile, Richmond Kickers, they've tweaked their formation a little bit. Still a pretty standard setup, 4-4-2. But now a few more attacking talents on the pitch. Ryan Sierkowski and Neil Valignols on the wing. And then Carlton Belmar partnering Terzaghi up top. Just about set for kickoff here from Windsor, Colorado. Richmond kickers in their third kit. It is a gray and white strip going from right to left. Meanwhile, Northern Colorado in their newly announced fourth kits. A nice orange strip going left to right. Third and final meeting between these two sides underway as Northern Colorado begins their pursuit of history. We'd like to thank you for joining us. Sam Goldfarb here bringing you all of the action on ESPN+. Plus. Jackson Dietrich early on bundled over and a yellow card shown right off the jump to Justin Suko. So the 24-year-old becomes the first man booked. See here Dietrich just driving forward and yeah, professional foul at that. Zaka Moran in the first minute. And Zaka Moran is actually the man who receives the yellow. Early set piece for the hailstorm. And we know Arthur Rogers can deliver a terrific ball in these situations. Rogers and Sabella in the vicinity. Sabella whips it in. Comes out to Norti. Rendon follows it up. Harmlessly behind for a goal kick. Northern Colorado fresh off a 2-0 victory over Union Omaha at home last weekend. It was the fourth match in 11 days, and assistant coach Colin Falvey said it wasn't the best performance, and it was clear they were tired, but he can't get on his guys too much because he was really pleased they were able to see out a result against an Omaha team that had won three straight coming in. Part of an 11 match unbeaten stretch for Northern Colorado that has tied the league record set by Union Omaha a few years ago. Delgado looks for Rendon, and it'll sail out of play for a Richmond throw. For Richmond, not too many personnel changes in the 11. The big absence is jo Joao Gomero, who is a mainstay over the course of this season in that hybrid center midfield winger role. He moves to the bench. Other than that, though, aside from the formational adjustment from Coach Sawatsky and company, Looks to be a standard setup for the kickers. Here's Rogers. It's a Richmond side, meanwhile, trending in not necessarily an opposite direction compared to their counterparts tonight, but Certainly hasn't been smooth sailing for a side that won the USL League One regular season last year. 
Just one win in their last five contests. We're forced to settle for a 2-2 draw, a match against Charlotte in which Darren Sawatsky said he felt like they weren't good enough in the key moments. Switched off a bit defensively, got pegged back twice, and were forced to settle for a point at home. Says that's kind of characterized Richmond's season so far. They haven't been consistent enough over the course of 90 minutes to consistently grind out three points. We'll see if tonight they can hit top form against a red-hot Northern Colorado squad. Ball played wide for Michael Hornsby, the German. And now Cornwall. Sabella's got options. Rendon keeps it in play. It'll be the first Meadow Gold corner kick of the night for Northern Colorado. Corner kicks tonight are brought to you by Meadow Gold. Set pieces are an area of strength for Northern Colorado, but last week the deliveries were lacking. Here's Rogers is in swinger. It falls for Ammon. Just too many gray shirts in the vicinity. The King wins it back upfield. Here's Ammon looking for number 15. Decent look early on for the Golden Boot leader. Here's another look at that. King wins it back high upfield. That's Northern Colorado specialty. And Ammon just gets underneath it a bit much. Put a charge into it though. When we spoke to Eamon Zayed and Colin Falvey about the earlier stages of the season for Northern Colorado, they emphasized how the attack has come along in tremendous fashion. Mention off the top in that first meeting, Northern Colorado was more focused on maintaining their shape and defensive solidity, not conceding, and they were honestly quite pleased to settle for a nil-nil draw away from home. But then in game two, it felt like their attacking principles had been enacted a bit more. The key attacking pieces for the Hailstorm had bought into the high press, heavy defensive emphasis system. From there, they were able to press on and be a little more aggressive going forward. Colin Falvey said he feels this Northern Colorado side is further along going forward at this point in the season than they would have expected coming in. But he says that's a testament to the way these players have bought into defending for the full field for 90 minutes. Here's Rogers' delivery and it evades everyone. Suko. Now Vinyals, second in the league in chances created behind only Arthur Rogers. Here is the creative Spaniard. Sirikowski. Expect over the course of this one, Richmond's going to boss the lion's share of possession. It's a Northern Colorado side that is bottom of the league in passes completed. They are quite content to counter. Well, the kickers, heavy emphasis on building through the flanks, especially through their full backs, creating opportunities from there. Yeah. 
Here's Rendon. Always a lively player to watch on that right flank. Here's another one of those in Arthur Rogers. Barnathan looks long for Sierkowski. Decent idea, just struggling to find that pass early on. Speaking to Darren Sawatsky about the differences between last season and this season, he's quick to point out the increased spending throughout the league. He talks a lot about this Northern Colorado side in particular, Ford Madison buying Stephen Payne off his roster as well. Says other sides are splashing the cash more and it's equalized the playing field a little bit. Says they're a little thin squad wise because they just don't have as many numbers as they had last year. Of course the loss of a few key contributors and Jonathan Bolaños going to MLS Next Pro and Payne making the move across Henny Derby lines to Madison. And that's forced coach Sawaski and company to get a little creative and Squad still coming together, whereas at this point last year, this Richmond side was in top form. Aaron back pass that time, and it falls for King. Here's Billy King looking for Ammon across. Sabella and can't squeak it in at the near post. Big chance goes begging for Northern Colorado. Michael Hornsby trying to play it back. King picks it up. Fitzgerald does well to force him wide. And eventually it falls loose for Sabello, who can't squeak it into the near post. A glaring chance early on for the Hailstorm, and you wouldn't fancy them to miss it too much. Richmond getting off scot free that time. Here's Vinyals. And now Sierakowski has space. Hornsby's cross. And the first corner kick of the night for Richmond. Corner kicks tonight are brought to you by Meadow Gold. It is Richmond's first set piece here in the first half. Cross comes to the near post. And we'll run it back from the opposite flank. Look out for Nathan Awney on these set pieces. He's got a couple goals to his name. As Hornsby readies this in swinger. High arcing cross. Delgado gets a paw to it. It falls for Belmar. Hornsby tees it up once more. Point blank header from Fitch, and it's just right at Delgado. Big opportunity there for Simon Fitch. It was just him and the goalkeeper. Fitch can't steer it out of Delgado's path, who has a relatively routine stop out of it. A man in Lalo Delgado, who currently paces all keepers in the Golden Gloves race. Here's Terzaghi's first touch. Delgado, of course, for Northern Colorado in his first full season with the club. He joined from Phoenix Rising after a couple seasons in the USL Championship. A four-save clean sheet last weekend against Omaha in a match where Northern Colorado pretty much absorbed pressure the bulk of the game. He's been terrific when called upon this season. Hello. 
U.S. Food is, is the official supply partner of Future Legends Complex and Hailstorm FC. Just under a quarter of an hour gone here from the Future Legends Complex in Windsor, Colorado. One big chance on either side, both have gone begging. Billy King had the chance after Hornsby's giveaway moments ago, and then a couple minutes later, Simon Fitch had a point blank header from a corner that fell right to Delgado's gloves. Figured it would be a more open affair given the attacking prowess of both of these sides. For Northern Colorado, it's been pretty much ruthless all year, especially over the course of this unbeaten stretch. For Richmond, they've just started to get the wheels on their attack going. It's all coincided with the emergence of Emiliano Terzaghi over the last eight, nine weeks or so. Here's Barnathan. Fola, the outside center back. One of the veterans on this Northern Colorado squad, just in its second season of competition. Himself and Rob Cornwall are the key leaders on that back line. side that has splashed the cash, brought in a number of big name signings from the USL Championship and the European ranks. Speaks to Eamon Zayed's connection over to Ireland and elsewhere. And they've gelled very well this season. Here's Sirikowski for Richmond. And now Vignoles. for Simon Fitch, one of the better attacking right backs in all of USL League One. Hornsby. Links with Sirikowski and now has room. Here's Michael Hornsby, low cross, and it trickles into the back of the net. Unclear whether it'll be an own goal or be credited to Terzaghi, but either way, the Richmond kickers take a 1-0 lead on the road. A terrific move, and it starts with the interplay between Sirikowski and Hornsby, and I believe that's going to be an own goal. It looks like it deflected off Leo Fola. Take a look from another angle. It appears close, but either way, the opportunity created by Hornsby, the 24-year-old left back, and the kickers in front. Kicker's goal scored by number 32. It Emiliano is credited Terzaghi. officially to Emiliano Terzaghi, so that's his 10th goal of the year as of now. The 30-year-old, the all-time leading goal scorer in USL League One history with his 55th in league competition. And the double figures now for the fourth consecutive season. Rendon motors the other direction. And Terzaghi sprays long for Belmar who gives chase. Eight-year USL Championship veteran.
Official wording from the official score is it's an own goal for Fola. So Terzaghi still in single figures for now. Of course, he's got plenty of time to notch a fourth consecutive double digit goal season. The opportunity was created by Michael Hornsby who strolled down that left flank, whipped in a dangerous cross. And Fola ultimately was the man who hit it over the line. So a 1-0 lead regardless for Richmond, but no kicker credited for the finish. Looking long for Sabella, and the flag comes up on the near flank regardless. Select, the official match ball supplier of the USL League One and many elite leagues throughout Europe. Visit www.us.select-sport.com for the latest select products, specials, and more. Select the player's choice. Well, right now, 20 minutes gone, and Richmond kickers with a somewhat surprising 1-0 lead at the Future Legends Complex against the league leaders tonight. Northern Colorado side that has rarely trailed all year. They find themselves in a somewhat unfamiliar position. And Richmond continuing to boss proceedings. Here's Sirikowski. Flag stays down. Now Hornsby, who manufactured the own goal moments ago. It's a 17th minute Leo full own goal that separates these two sides midway through the first half. Match where chances have been somewhat few and far between, although certainly expansive play by both sides, especially Richmond. Now one thing Eamon Zayed has emphasized over the course of this season has been how proud he is of his side for never giving up in these situations. But Suko bundled over just outside the area. And Hailstorm have a defensive set piece to weather as well. As lucky Oprah, the wing back will be the first Hailstorm player in the book tonight. And see here, Suko picks up the loose change. Oprah left the boot dangling, and that's enough to draw the Eagle ire of the lead official, Turan Oztemir, tonight. In the 22nd minute. kickers with very favorable free kick positioning. Hornsby and Vignals in the vicinity. Vignals tries! And a decent stop from Delgado there. Had to get down to his left, but did just enough to cover it. And ultimately just trickles wide. If you're just joining us, we'd like to thank you for tuning in on ESPN Plus tonight. Sam Goldfarb here. Richmond kickers looking to climb back above the playoff cut line and currently in favorable position to do so. As they look to spoil Northern Colorado's historic bid tonight. As they look to move 12 unbeaten.
Tyrus Hornsby. Looks long for Terzaghi, and the flag comes up. Biggest thing when you talk to Eamon Zayed, they mention the never say die mentality. It's a Northern Colorado side that irrespective of the bumps that have come in the road over the course of this unbeaten run has had a response. And even in really unfavorable situations like the defeat at Omaha when they went down 3-0 with 10 men, this side still battled back and grabbed two second half goals. So while it's a side that maybe doesn't hit those bumps in the road often, Coach Zayed has been pleased with his players' response in the rare occasions it happens. Here tonight, likely in need of more of the same. Rendon, low driver, here's Hammond. And Norty clipped the heels of Sirikowski. Hailstorm FC and future legends print with the pros at Color Pro Printing of Fort Collins. They make your vision a reality. Check them out at colorproprint.com. Speaking of a different form of printing and canvassing, so to speak, the new Northern Colorado Hailstorm fourth kits are being worn tonight and are on full display. Here's Norty. It falls for Dietrich. Well, Dietrich nor nearly unleashed a firecracker in those cracking jerseys. It's cut back for the 26 year old. He just gets underneath it a little much. Decent positioning there. You're seeing the press begin to pay some dividends when Richmond's forced to build out of the back. Terzaghi looks long with Delgado off his line. That was always a tough proposition. There's your look at Darren Swatsky in his fourth season at the helm of this Richmond kicker side. A man who's only post victorious campaigns in his tenure. He took over a Richmond club that was kind of in a down period in their history. Fresh off a couple straight losing seasons, had missed back-to-back postseasons for one of the first times in club history. Coach Sawatsky himself with a tremendous rise through the coaching ranks. While he was still a player, was a high school assistant coach, then made his way to the college ranks and ultimately broke through with Richmond in the late 2010s. Last year, of course, the headliner, a Richmond side that Won the league's regular season title, just fell short in the semifinals in a 1-0 defeat to Chattanooga. A heartbreaker in which Rafa Mensigan, the current NCFC star, scored the winner with a mere matter of minutes to play. Coach Sawatsky said the conversation with ownership was very simple. He knew the owner from a previous stop as a soccer coach and a player, and he said the call was pretty simple. It was, are you ready to build a winner in Richmond? And he said, absolutely, and the rest was history. And he's taken over this club and built them back into the juggernaut he feels they rightfully should be. And while this season hasn't exactly been as smooth as last year was, Still flashing their quality with a 1-0 lead on the road here against the league leaders. Here's Fola. Hellstorm trying to press the issue a bit more. Just appear to lack that cutting edge we've seen so often this year in the final third. Rendon. Looks for Ammon. And dealt with relatively well by Barnathan there. It's 
second meadow gold corner kick of the night for Northern Colorado. Saw perhaps Rogers' best delivery since the Knoxville contest a couple games ago in this last situation. It fell for Ammon. And ultimately Richmond with a good piece of emergency defending to keep the score level. We know what Rogers can do. Tied a league record with three assists in a match against Knoxville. And Two of those helpers came from set pieces. Here's the outswinger. It's driven low, floats across the face of goal, and evades everyone in orange. Decent flick on from Ammon, and Sabella nearly put it home at the back stick. This one's right off the training ground. It's an outswinger. You see Ammon flick it on, and Sabella was mere steps away from equalizing. Big moment for the hailstorm. The kicker still with their noses in front. Hornsby looks down the line for Belmar, and Oprah reads it perfectly. Spoke so much about the presence of wingbacks for Richmond, how crucial it is in the buildup. For Northern Colorado, it's the same. Arthur Rogers pretty much plays all over the pitch tonight, more centrally than perhaps he's used to. But the presence of wing backs pretty much keys their system. We've talked about Rendon's presence on that right wing. Lucky Oprah himself creates a lot of chances. That was a big point of emphasis in the offseason for Eamon Zayed. He saw what transpired in that initial campaign and said, we need more width. Well, he went out and got two young studs in Rendon and Oprah who have had terrific campaigns. It's been a big part of the reason why Northern Colorado has just been so dynamic in addition to that high press, which yields so many turnovers upfield. In some ways is a contrast of styles. More unorthodox system, flare based for the hailstorm. For Richmond, it's always been a traditional 4-3-3, 4-4-2 setup. Ammon bundled over. And finally, the whistle goes. Eamon Zayed's been barking at the officials these last few minutes. And now the officials having a conversation with Zayed, who may have just gotten himself booked. Eamon Zayed's second consecutive game with a yellow card. For those of you who watched last week, he was less than pleased with what transpired from an officiating perspective. Of course, his a yellow card star defensive midfielder, Enoch Kwakwa, was sent off with a second yellow. He had something to say about it. And here tonight, clearly frustrated with the physicality some of these Richmond midfielders have gotten away with. Rodgers looks to switch the play, and it falls for Rendon. And Northern Colorado manufactures another Meadow Gold corner kick. Well, if you're hearing Eamon Zayed, um, that yellow card will may have just gotten him suspended for next week. So 
Northern Colorado's next matchup comes against North Carolina FC on Wednesday. It's part of a three match and seven day stretch. Here's Kings Cross. And now Rendon's follow up. Of course, yellow cards, coaches wise, are not officially documented on the League One website. So, sure, we'll hear official word on that in the coming hours. But it is a second consecutive match with a yellow for Eamon Zayed. What Eamon Zayed has done with this Northern Colorado side in just two seasons has been so impressive. A man who transitioned immediately from his playing days into a co his coaching career, retired in 2020, was signed as NOCO's first ever head coach in August of 2021. Last season built the foundations of this roster and it's really performed in top tier here in 2023. Hornsby. And Vinyals. Now Ani looks long. And it falls for Belmar. Fitch driving to the byline. Low cross. And it evades everyone for a moment. Looked like maybe Sirikowski was going to get a touch to that. Eamon Zayed, of course, has done a terrific job with this Hailstorm side. Was named USL League One Coach of the Month in May. Also a very decorated playing career, spanned nearly two decades. His nickname Mr. Hattrick for his goal scoring exploits in Ireland before eventually making the move across the pond to the United States in the early 2010s. Now Richmond has their third corner of the match. Low driver to the near post. Terzaghi gets a touch to it. Now Vignal's is cross. It falls for Ani. And just right at Delgado. Second consecutive corner at which a point blank opportunity has arisen for Richmond, and it's the second consecutive time it's been hit right at Lalo Delgado. Well, other than the own goal, which you really couldn't do much about, hasn't been the busiest man in this first half. His counterpart, Kira Fitzgerald, has been even less busy. Rendon. Twists and turns. Now working on Hornsby. And still Rendon. Darted across. Just outside the reach of Dietrich. A frustrating half in the final third so far for Northern Colorado. Norty. Oprah. A former regular in the Latvian First Division. Rogers. 
Still looking to make his imprint felt in this opening 45 minutes. Rendon's cross. Fans, Red Zone NoCo is a proud sponsor of Hailstorm FC. Red Zone offers one hour group fitness sessions that help burn more calories than your typical gym workout. Get in the zone. Well, right now, Northern Colorado helping, hoping to get in the zone going forward. Chances have come few and far between and still awaiting a recipient on a large portion of those final balls. And a couple promising chances that have just gone by the wayside due to a lack of runners or an overhit delivery. Hornsby. If you're just joining us here on ESPN Plus, approaching halftime, another relatively cagey affair. Both sides have had couple chances pop up each, but it's an own goal by Leo Fola in the 17th minute that separates these two sides. Otherwise, a relatively routine evening for both goalkeepers. Belmar looking to change that for Richmond. Here is the 30-year-old. And Sabella tracks back brilliantly. Here's Rendon. Switching the play for Sibella. And overhits him once more. Peak Performance Chiropractic is the official chiropractor of your owls and hailstorm. Peak Performance is the premier location for wellness chiropractic care for the entire family. Here's Rogers for Northern Colorado. Laid off well. Kings got options. And cleared only as far as Oprah. Been an eventful week for the Hailstorm. Went top of the table last Tuesday after a 4-2 victory at one Knoxville. It was the first time in club history they've accomplished that feat. And they produced an encore last Saturday as well. It was a 2-0 victory over Union Omaha. A match in which Cohen Falvey and his the rest of his staff, including Eamon Zayed, give Los Bujos a lot of credit. They felt they were tired, but relatively pleased with how they got the result. Now here tonight, another busy slate and it gets underway. Here's Oprah's cross. And it's cleared out of play for another Meadow Gold corner kick for the Hailstorm. Rodgers will stand over it once again. They've threatened their last couple set pieces. Looking to the back post. Cleared only as far as King the Scotsman. Rodgers back for King. Chipped into the middle. 
Rendon got his head to it, but nothing more than that. And Norty unable to connect with King. It's been that kind of half for the Hailstorm. Very sound defending from the kickers in the final third. Monopolized possession relatively well, especially in the early stages. And the counter attacks and chances that originate from the high press just haven't been there in this opening 45 to the degree I'm sure these Hailstorm players are accustomed to seeing. Sabella and Rogers with potentially one last opportunity here to close the first half. Sabella delivers, sits for Rendon. And Vinyals looks to usher out of danger. Has a runner in Terzaghi. And a wrestling match that certainly gets Turan Ozdemir's attention. It was Fola and Terzaghi in a bit of hand fighting. And it's going to go against the front man for Richmond. The final minute of added time here from the Future Legends Complex. A frustrating 45 for the league leaders as they look to erase a rare 1-0 deficit. attack potentially for Richmond. Here's Belmar. Oprah marshals him off it terrifically, but cleared only as far as Fitch. Cornwall for Rendon. And Ammons just been forced out of the action for the majority of this opening 45. Whistle sounds for halftime. The Richmond kickers a 1 0 lead courtesy of a Leo Fola 17th minute own goal. Right now for Northern Colorado, a frustrating opening half as they look to find the recipe in the final third. Meanwhile, for Terzaki Vinyals and company, they'll be happy with the scoreline despite a lack of key chances. We're going to step aside for halftime here on ESPN Plus. The league leaders in a 1-0 hole as they look to make history. Richmond right now spoiling the party at Future Legends Complex. When we return, the halftime show on ESPN Plus. Stick with us. We've got a good one brewing in the nightcap in League One. Shields All Sports Store is your one stop for everything outdoors with local experts eager to guide you through the widest selection of brands. Your one stop for exercise gear to get working out or fashions for going out. And your one stop for footwear in your size, your style, yours to take home today. Shields, employee owned, community minded and like no place you've ever shopped before.
I'm Jason Olskart. I'm here with Jackie and Michelle, and we are the Olskart team powered by C3 Real Estate Solutions. We are proud to partner with future legends to help fulfill the lifestyle needs, wants, and desires of each family who wants to call Colorado home. C3 stands for character, culture, and commitment. That is core to who we are and the exceptional value that every client will experience when working with us. If you value working with an experienced team, we invite you to reach out to schedule a time to meet with us. Halftime here in Windsor, Colorado. It was a busy midweek, two matches here in USL League One. Brad Klein has the highlights for us. Oh, the midweek matchups never disappoint in League One. One Knoxville and Union Omaha doing battle on Tuesday. Tenth minute and one Knoxville not wasting any time, but looked like Union Omaha was gonna clear this away, not so much. Danny Fernandez makes it 1-0 in favor of the home club, but only five minutes later, how about Junior Palacios, a free kick scorer even at 1-1. Red card for Luca, Mast Luca Mastro Antonio in the 82nd minute. So now Union Omaha playing with 10 men. You would think, okay, walk away on the road with one point. You're happy with that, right? But not so much. Let's go to the 94th minute. Union Omaha not satisfied playing with 10 men and Dion Acuff nets it. The game winner 2-1 in favor of Union Omaha and now six consecutive matches without a win for one Knoxville. That was Tuesday, this was Wednesday. Charlotte hosting Greenville and wow, what a performance for Jared Mazzola. It was just frustrating. You're continue to hit your head against a brick wall waiting for the bricks to break. Doesn't happen. Omar Sis, Tresser and Buyu, they had great looks peppering Mazzola, but the keeper had a club record nine saves for the triumph and Evan Lee gets a look here right at the top of the 18 can't connect on Austin Pack. We go to stoppage time right now. No score, we're level. 95th minute, the clock is tick, 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 ticking. But how about this? Mazzola, only so much he can do, makes the initial save, the rebound score goes to Clay Dimmick. And that is how Charlotte walks away with a one nil win. Heartbreaker for Greenville, but a big time win for the independents right there. Oh, don't go anywhere. The League One family is growing and we're going to tell you more about that after a quick break right here on ESPN+. Plus. Are you ready? Ready for more of the game you love. Ready for more players and more teams. Ready for more stadiums, for more fans in more cities. This is a different league. The USL Super League. Built for the future of women's soccer. Bridging the journey from youth to pro, connected to the global game, and bringing it all closer to home. Are you ready? professional athletes but if your goal is to finish your degree we can help come to a university that puts your goals first Bellevue University your partner in finishing goals
Some news and notes around USL League One. It was a busy week here in the league. Spokane Velocity FC were officially unveiled on Friday, and they're going to make up a 14-team League One in 2024. That's going to be the biggest it's ever been in league history. The growth of the league has been something that's tremendous to watch. And then, of course, Arthur Rogers playing in this match tied a league record with three assists in a match against one Knoxville. That was part of a 4-2 victory for Northern Colorado Hailstorm at the Expansion Club. A fantastic performance for Rogers and company. And he, of course, headlines the team of the week. He was named player of the week on Tuesday. You see there four Northern Colorado players selected, including Trevor Ammon, Bruno Rendon, and Billy King, and two Richmond kickers featured as well in Simon Fitch and Neil Vinyals. Well represented here on the team of the week are those two clubs. Meanwhile, a busy week upcoming in USL League One. Northern Colorado Hailstorm are going to feature twice against two clubs from North Carolina. Marquee matchups towards the top of the table with major postseason implications. They go to North Carolina FC on Wednesday and then go to Charlotte on Saturday. Meanwhile, Richmond Kickers, they make the trip to Lexington to take on Lexington SC, an expansion club. And Ford Madison, a surprise club this season, they're going to be hosting South Georgia Tormenta, the defending champs, looking to get things trending in the right direction. Here's your look at some of the matches that transpired earlier. Now, the one that stands out, Charlotte upset by Central Valley Fuego at American Legion Memorial Stadium. So what that means is regardless of result here tonight, Northern Colorado will remain atop the table by the end of match week 19. The other surprise result, how about Union Omaha? They got smacked by Lexington at Toyota Stadium. And then a pair of derbies, one Knoxville dropping the Smoky Mountain Smackdown at home. Chattanooga taking two from three against Knoxville this year. And in the Peach States Derby, Greenville notching a 2-1 victory over the defending champs. We're gonna step aside here on ESPN Plus when we return so a look at the first half between Northern Colorado and Richmond. Shields All Sports Store is your one stop for everything outdoors with local experts eager to guide you through the widest selection of brands. Your one stop for exercise gear to get working out or fashions for going out. And your one stop for footwear in your size, your style, yours to take home today. Shields, employee owned, community minded and like no place you've ever shopped before. It's a new day, Northern Colorado, and we're set to seize it. More than that, we're out to dent the old standard and set the gold standard. Today is about resilience. That's something our squad has shown and continues to show. Today is about growth. That's a trait this team and this town have seen and continue to see. All this time, the focus has been on our community's legendary future. But today, it dawned on us. The future is now. Are we building something special? Hell yeah, we are. Back here from Windsor, Colorado, it's a 1-0 lead for Richmond Kickers after 45 minutes over the hosts. 
hunting a 12th consecutive match unbeaten. Let's take a look now at some of the standout moments in that first half. Chances were few and far between, but Richmond got the better of them. It started early on, King's Cross looking for Dietrich. It eventually fell for Sabella. That was probably the best chance of the match for Northern Colorado. Then Billy King, after the giveaway, looked to the back post. As you see another look at this, it just Sabella couldn't squeak that in at the near post. Then Richmond came up with a big opportunity. Point blank header for Simon Fitch fell right into Delgado's gloves. You see another look at this. Good delivery from Hornsby, who probably was the standout player on the pitch. Then he materialized the own goal. Crosses this in. Leo Fola eventually touches it over the line with Terzaghi lurking. And Michael Hornsby, the 24-year-old left back, making a major impact in that first half. Then one more chance for Richmond. Neil Vignoles tried the low driver on the free kick. It narrowly missed at the near post. And then from there, one more cross coming in. It fell for Awney off the corner, right at Delgado once more. That was the storyline throughout the bulk of that first half for Richmond, missing a couple opportunities to double their advantage. Here is your look at the first half stats. You see Northern Colorado actually with the lion's share of possession. They turn that around after the goal. Meanwhile, from a shots perspective, a lot of shots, very few finding the target. Eight shots for Northern Colorado and nine for Richmond. The two on target, of course, were the two that fell right into Delgado's gloves. The own goal is the only thing separating these two sides at the moment. Of course, the yellow card battle, one for a player on either side on the pitch, and Eamon Zayed as well was cautioned for the second consecutive match. Other than that, not a lot to talk about from a discipline perspective. I'm sure that will be a welcome sight for Hailstorm fans after Kwok was red card last week. For Richmond, never really battled too many issues on the discipline front. Back here for the start of the second half from the Future Legends Complex. Northern Colorado looking to avoid their first defeat since late April. A side with a league low one loss on the year. Meanwhile, Richmond looking to snap out of a one win in five match stretch and move back into the playoff hunt. There's one change on the pitch as well for Richmond. It'll be That's Matt Bentley, the English Houston. forward, Richmond who enters the action. A leg-for-leg -leg swap. Bentley, Bentley replaces Belmar, who had a pretty quiet 45 Bentley minutes. The USL Championship veteran unable to make a major impact in that first half. Bentley's a fun player to watch. Still very young, just 25 years of age. Made most of his professional trade in English non-league prior to moving across the pond. And while Northern Colorado making a couple changes as well, Sabella's gonna make way for Stefan Lukic and Marky Hernandez replaces Norte Norte. Hailstorm win a corner, and the first Meadow Gold corner kick of the second half goes the way of the hosts. So both sides reevaluating their initial 11s. This an attack-minded swap for Northern Colorado, especially with Norte, their best ball-winning midfielder, being replaced by Hernandez. Rogers is out swinger. It falls into the middle, and Rendon ultimately touches it right at Fitzgerald, who passes his first test. Another good cross from Rogers, and ultimately Lukic got a touch to it, and it fell right into Fitzgerald's gloves. I'm sure he'll be quite relieved with the outcome there. Now Dietrich. Substitutions presented by shift four tonight.
for Northern Colorado. Stefan Lukic pops out a tremendous story for this Hailstorm side. Was once one of the top prospects in Europe. Came through the Youth Academy, the Partizan Youth Academy, alongside Alexander Mitrovic and Dusan Vlahovic. Two players making their trade in major European leagues. At one point had a deal to Euro Everton just fall through. He had to move to the U.S., go to the NAIA level, played at Oklahoma Wesleyan, and absolutely lit it up there. He said his years in NAIA made him rediscover his love for the game of soccer. And now making his trade for the Hailstorm. Here's Dietrich. Lukic last year signing in early February. Hernandez, a major chance, and it actually trickles behind for a moment. Fans thought it fell into the back of the net. Hailstorm goal! Even the press announcer was fooled. So Hernandez picks this up, and it ripples the side netting. Ultimately, the equalizer doesn't quite come yet for Northern Colorado. Correction, previous call was incorrect. So Rogers will take another Meadow Gold corner kick. Right into the heart of the area and it's headed home. There's the equalizer. And it's lucky Oprah with his first goal this season for the Hailstorm. Rodgers, a spectacular delivery, and the 23-year-old left back levels the scoreline. Scored by number seven, Lucky Oprah. Terrific outswinger from Rodgers. Oprah rises like a salmon dressed in pink and finishes it off as the Hailstorm Fight back level at home. Pinpoint delivery. There were about four or five orange shirts. And Lucky Oprah was the man who got in the score sheet. An off-season signing for Eamon Zayed, who has more than paid dividends on the chance creation front. Finally opens his account for the Hailstorm here in 2023. Now with wind in their sails, looking for Ammon. Battling with Oni, and ultimately goes out of play for a goal kick. Fans, your attention please, because your hailstorm scored in the first 10 minutes of the half. Alcohol is half off until the beverage tents close. Well, if you're hearing that stadium announcement, I'm sure there's a lot of pleased fans in attendance, and not just because of the goal. Lucky Oprah, a man who joined this past offseason after three years in the Latvian top flight, was also loaned out throughout Europe to the Swiss Super League, also to the Finland and Estonian top flight. And he levels the scoreline in the 50th minute for Northern Colorado. Here's Ammon. Finds King. Popped free by Ani. Now here's the goal scorer, Oprah. That is excellent bit of footwork. Still Oprah, and wins his side of corner. In the midst of all that, referee showing a yellow. There's a bit of chaos in the box ahead of that corner. And Rodgers will look to compound Richmond's struggles at defending set pieces. In swinger comes in, Fitzgerald punches out of play. Cleared only as far as Dietrich. And I'm sure he would have been hoping for a little better final product on that cross. 
Waffle Laser Tag has the biggest laser tag arena on the front range. Plus, they serve delicious food, draft beer, and unlimited fun every day. Come eat, play, and tag at LLT, Northern Colorado's premier entertainment center. Well, the fans being treated to some entertainment in the opening stages of this second half. Lucky Oprah with his first goal in a hailstorm kit to level things up after a frustrating 45. Here's King now, brought down in the area, and a referee says no. Immediate appeals for a penalty and immediately shot down by Turan Ozdemir. Colin Falvey now having a discussion with the fourth official. And perhaps King went down a smidge too easy. Let's take another look. He wrong-sided Fitch, and there was at least a bit of heel clipping that transpired there. Either way, Richmond gets off scot-free. Suddenly, this match livening up considerably after a quieter opening half. Here's the shot on goal you just missed. Oprah's cross got the attention of Fitzgerald there. Ultimately did no much more than that, though. Oh. So the yellow card officially given to Justin Suko earlier. So both center mids for Richmond are now in the book. So something to watch out for, especially considering that Enoch Kwakwa for Northern Colorado on this very pitch a week ago was sent off due to a second yellow. Here's Cornwall. Northern Colorado looks like a different side to begin the second half. Here's Oprah, the goal scorer. Don't miss a minute of the action in 2023. Whether your club is on the road or at home, catch nearly every second of USL League One action on ESPN Plus, the home to USL, La Liga, the Bundesliga, UFC, and more. Sign up today at plus.espn.com. 55 minutes gone here at the Future Legends Complex, and after a pretty frustrating opening half, Northern Colorado equalized moments ago through Lucky Oprah. 23-year-old Nigerian Pushes the hailstorm level. Here's Suko, the 24 year old. Richmond looking to reestablish a foothold in this match, had numerous opportunities to double their lead in the late stages of the first. And a half that was pretty tight both ways, likely in part due to the compact pitch dimensions here at Future Legends Complex. It's always an interesting adjustment when teams have to adjust to the baseball field pitch. Of course, Richmond had no issues dealing with it at Warner Park a couple weeks ago. Here's Hornsby. Cuts it inside for Sirikowski. And the first Meadow Gold corner kick of the second for the visitors here. Sirikowski, a man who joined in early June after a temporary stint with Tormenta to begin the season. Is a veteran of the USL ranks, just 25 years of age. Was once a Highly touted draft pick in the MLS. Here's the corner. Delgado gets his paws to it. And Dietrich. Ultimately, free kick goes Northern Colorado's way. Ammon's still a little shaken up. Now looking long. Here's Lukic. 
the Serbian. Down to the touch line, King cuts it across. Ball popped into the net, but they're gonna say King stepped out of bounds on the byline. A terrific move negated by a matter of inches. Billy King nearly procuring a second for Northern Colorado. You see this slick move, cuts it across really well. Hernandez got a touch to it. And that's now the second time Hernandez has gotten his goal sound played. Now Ammon wins it back. Here's Ammon, and what a stop by Fitzgerald. A costly giveaway, and one of the top keepers in the league makes a massive save for Richmond. Now Vignal's charging the other way, and ultimately Cornwall lets it roll out of play. How about that stop by Akira Fitzgerald? Just a couple days beyond his 36th birthday. Denying the league's top goal scorer in a point blank moment. Here's Fola. Hailstorm continuing to force the issue. And Dietrich for Rogers. At the hour mark, the tide of this match is completely flipped. Lukic, tricky ball for Hernandez and narrowly misses the far post. Well, we've got a couple moments to show you on the highlight reel. It'll start with Fitzgerald's terrific save. You see Ammon wins it back in the press. Fitzgerald off his line, a terrific kick save. And his day wasn't done there either because just moments ago, another major chance, cheeky back heel from Lukic and Hernandez nearly slotting it in at the far post. Two major opportunities for the hosts to nudge their noses in front. Now Oprah. Still Oprah. And Fitzgerald ultimately rescues a corner from it. How about Akira Fitzgerald? in his fifth season with the Richmond Kickers, one of the longest tenured players in the club. Man who turned 36 years of age a few days ago, has been going through a bit of an up and down campaign, battled injury all year, was questionable coming into the night, but we know his pedigree. A goalkeeper of the year a season ago, set the league single season record for saves in 2022. Having him healthy and back in the 11 is something Coach Sawatsky undoubtedly loves. As Richmond readies one more substitution, and this one a bit more attack-minded. Hearing word it'll be Joao Gomiro who's gonna replace Justin Suko. Here's Bentley. Knocked out of play and they'll wave Gomiro on. So Suko's day comes to an end. Picked up a yellow card, struggled to build his way into the action going forward. Meanwhile, Gomiro, a very attack-minded player, a Brazilian native. Party with three goals to his name this year. They came in back-to-back -back contests in late May. Gomiro's rise has been rapid. Last season was all league in USL League Two with 10 goals for North Carolina Fusion. 
a club that reached the national semifinals last year. Here is his first touch and links well with Terzaghi. Vinyals. Richmond beginning to weather the storm, starting to get a bit more assertive in possession when they build through the press. Now Gomiro. For Vignos. Two changes made on either side. Certainly been a chess match. Game has had its phases of dominance for both teams. And now a much more open stage of the match here in the early stages of the second half. Vinyals rushes to the byline, chips in for Bentley. Had Delgado off his line, but couldn't quite steer that on target. Bentley, who was picked 88th overall in the 2020 MLS Super Draft by Minnesota United, was a total star at Missouri State in his final year of college soccer, scored 15 goals in 20 appearances and was a first team All-American. But after that, we mentioned had to make his trade overseas back in his native England in English non-league, a lot of seventh and eighth tier football before eventually signing with the Hailstorm this past off season. Excuse me, signing with the Kickers in 2022 at six goals a season ago. London native and is hoping to reclaim some of the heights he hit a season ago. Scoochie's Cleaners is the official uniform cleaning partner of Hailstorm FC. With two locations in Fort Collins and one right down the street from future legends, Scotchy's Cleaners can handle all of your dry cleaning needs. Approaching the final 25 minutes of action here from Windsor, Colorado. It was a first half in which Richmond largely had the bulk of the chances and nudged themselves in front due to an own goal in the 17th minute. Since then, Northern Colorado has come out of the dressing room and flipped the match on its head, with Lucky Oprah equalizing in the 50th and created a few more chances since. Now we find ourselves at a moment where the match hangs in the balance. Of course, for Northern Colorado on the precipice of history, if they can snatch at least a point from this contest. Meanwhile, Richmond looking to get back in the win column. After a season in which they've struggled to protect leads and grind out results. Here's Barnathan. Vignals. Surging ahead. Here is Neil Vignals for Gomiro. 
the substitute. Bentley now, low cross. And ultimately unable to find Terzaghi's head. And there's a player down for Northern Colorado. Appears to be Jackson Dietrich. And man, Trevor Ammon will be hoping for a bit more clinical finishing in front of goal. A rare sight this season, a one-on-one -on -one denied by Akira Fitzgerald. And a major opportunity to give the Hailstorm the lead. A player who's just been in a bout of tremendous form as Dietrich is back to his feet and seems good to continue. Bentley's cross comes in and it looks like Dietrich just got trodden upon by Terzaghi. A bit of a stinger, good to see him ready to continue. USL's second annual summer showcase signals the start of the sprint to the finish. Philip Goodrum and FC Tulsa head west to face Romario Williams and Colorado Springs Switchbacks FC. FC Tulsa and Switchbacks FC Wednesday, August 9th at 9 p.m. Eastern on ESPN2. How about that Switchback side? Looks like they were finally beginning to hit their stride and then got blitzed by San Diego a few weeks ago. Of course, the early red card certainly didn't help matters, but a major rivalry matchup that didn't quite go their way at Widener Field. Here's Terzaghi for Richmond. Now Sirikowski going to work on Rendon. Lukic bundled over and wins the set piece. Rogers has worn shirts ahead. Now finds Lukic. And this time, the referee more hesitant to blow his whistle. Gomiro finds Bentley in space. He's got support from Fitch. Back and forth we go. Now Billy King with space. Darting to the byline. Good cross. Finds Ammon. Trevor Ammon. And it's poked over the line. Third time's the charm for Marky Hernandez. The Hellstorm lead. And it's Hernandez's second of the year. The super sub gives Northern Colorado the lead in the 72nd. Pure chaos. King's cross finds Ammon. A ton of deflections and Marky Hernandez with the cat-like reflexes to poke it over the goal line. Goal scored in the 72nd minute. Was a super sub last season for Northern Colorado. He fills that role once again in year two with the Hailstorm. And Northern Colorado has flipped the match on its head. Hey, 
So after a very frustrating first half, which was pretty much dominated by the headlines of a Leo Fola own goal. Northern Colorado has flipped the script here in the second. Entering the game, number 66, Noah Potter. Lucky Oprah, and of Potter course the substitute, Marky Hernandez. With goals about 20 minutes apart, and push the hailstorm in front as they hunt their first victory of the year from a losing position at halftime. So the substitute is official now. One change for Northern Colorado. Jackson Dietrich, who was still shaken up, from that knock is replaced by Noah Powder, the Trinidad and Tobago International. It's a defensive-minded swap regardless, but Powder more than capable of getting forward. How about Hernandez, a former Chattanooga Red Wolf? Had nine goals in two seasons before moving to Northern Colorado. And had a pair of goals last season with the Hailstorm. Now comes up with his second at a massive moment for the home side. Fans, the new Belgian voodoo it's a Northern Colorado winner. side that is Tyler Mance. Entering tonight, Please had conceded the least the goals in the league the with 12. The to your have done phenomenally at protecting Tyler. leads all year. Now tasked with seeing out these final 16 minutes. Vignal's is delivery. And bounces outside the reach of every man in gray. Conduct All Electric offers full electrical services for residential, commercial, and industrial, as well as 24-hour emergency services for their clients right here in Northern Colorado. Entering the final quarter of an hour on ESPN Plus, the Hailstorm have flipped the match on its head in the second half. Goals by Lucky Oprah and Marky Hernandez separated by 22 minutes have allowed the Hailstorm to turn around a 1-0 halftime deficit into a 2-1 lead. It was the first half in which something felt like it was missing in the final third. You wondered if there was maybe lingering effects from that four match and 11 day stretch. Hailstorm addressing those concerns in emphatic fashion here. Ammon flicks it on for Powder. Cleared only as far as a man in orange. It's a hailstorm side that, as we mentioned, rarely in adversity, but we talked about it earlier. Eamon Zayed always impressed with the persistence of his side, never giving in, never waving the white flag. And here in the second half tonight, those qualities on full display. Terzaghi and company, though, look to add another twist to the tail. And they'll have an opportunity to do so from a metal gold corner kick. Seemingly rare occurrence for the visitors here in the second half. In swinging cross, looks for Sirikowski. A lot of hand fighting in the box. And now Moran. Unable to ping it back out to Vignals. And Ammon is off to the races. 
Fitzgerald timing that one very well. Demiro. Moran for Gamiro. Gamiro tees one up. It was an enticing effort. Not enough to test Delgado, though. Attention Richmond makes yet another change, and it's an opportunity for the youngster an academy graduate in Landon Johnson, who's going to replace Ryan Sirikowski up front. Johnson, just 16 years of age. His brother actually signed an academy contract two years ago. It's the third set of brothers to feature for the Richmond Kickers. And what a spot. Corey Mann, who's a few months shy of his 17th birthday. Lukic looks for Rendon and shielded out of play well by Hornsby. Aggressive challenge from Fola, and he draws the ire of the referee. Just a yellow, but another hailstorm man in the books. A yellow card has been issued to Hailstorm FC. Number Let's take another look. Ball played forward. Fuller got a bit of the ball, also got a bit of Terzaghi's ankle. There's been a lot of emphasis on protecting Terzaghi of late in league media. Darren Sawatsky said, before this matchup, he's a guy who's getting kicked with regularity. It's a big reason why we probably haven't been able to get him on the goal sheet sooner. They've started to do that lately, but said he's hoping the refs will protect Terzaghi a little more over the coming weeks. Here's Johnson. Oprah stands him up. Cleared only as far as Bornathan. Fitch. For Vignals. And now Gamiro. Played forward for Johnson. And the ball pops free to Hernandez, the goal scorer. Hammond lays it off for Lukic. He's got support ahead. Here's Stefan Lukic. Ani does just enough to break it up for a corner. Another Meadow Gold corner kick. As we approach the business end of proceedings here from Windsor, Colorado. Rogers already with one assist from a corner kick situation tonight. The league leader looks to cause more danger. Outswinger to the back stick and Fola shoved off on Bentley. Bentley keeps it in play. Here's the Englishman, and he wins a corner. A 
lot of the Richmond front men have been frustrated figures tonight. Still with time to change that though. Here's Vignal's delivery. Once again, just unable to find a man in gray in the box here. Now Powder pings it forward for King. He's got to earn shirts ahead as well. Billy King, another sensational finish from the Scotsman. A magician from outside the box may have just put the nail in the coffin tonight. Billy King with goal number six of the season. An unbelievable curling finish on the counterattack. And Northern Colorado may be well and truly on their way to history. Last Tuesday, Billy King put the game against Knoxville out of reach with a similar finish. That made the score 4-2, this time Another sensational curler to make it 3-1. And it appears, boring a late collapse, he's wrapped things up from the Future Legends Complex. Hailstorm making its fourth change. Leaving the game number nine, Trevor Ammon. Entering the game number 16, Deston Norman. Norman replaces So now Holstale changes for both sides as Ammon will make way. And now King, the goal scorer, darting it across and outside the reach of Powder. Attention for substitution. Richmond kickers making their fourth and fifth and final change. Leaving the game number 25, Michael Hornsby. And number 32, Emiliano Terzaghi. Entering the game number 16, Jake Mickham. And number 91, Owain Gordon, substitutions made in the 84th minute. So a double change for Richmond. Owain Gordon and Jake Meekum enter the fray. They're replacing Michael Hornsby and Emiliano Terzaghi. You know, while Trevor Ammon has vacated the action for Northern Colorado, as Destan Norman enters for the home side. Into the final five minutes of this one on ESPN+. Plus. Northern Colorado Hailstorm have rode the wave of three second half goals after entering the intermission trailing 1-0. And they appear on their way to a ninth win in the last 12 and a league record 12 consecutive matches unbeaten. Hailstorm FC wants to thank Peak Kitchen for providing meals for the players following tonight's match. Well, if tonight's match is any indication, it is a well-earned dinner for Northern Colorado. A dominant second half display in which they routinely pepper to Kira Fitzgerald. Has them in prime position to wrap up all three points. An outcome that looked very unlikely after the opening 45 minutes. This time slowly winds down for the visitors. Here's Moran through for Bentley, and Delgado off his line to claim. Well, for Richmond coming in, Darren Sawatsky talked a lot about their performance in key moments. He felt like they switched off a little bit in some big moments last weekend against Charlotte a match in which they blew two separate one goal leads. Here tonight, it feels like a little bit more of the same. Missed a couple of big chances in the first half to double their advantage. And here in the second half, caught on the counter after a pretty masterful defensive display in the first. Here's one of those goal scorers in Hernandez. Got underneath, underneath that cross a bit more than he probably intended. Come on, 
Time slowly winding down for Richmond. Here's Oprah, the man who leveled the score line in the 50th. Owen Gordon appears to be the lone man up front as Richmond pivots into more of a 4-2-3-1. Gordon, a man with 18 international caps for Scotland. Or excuse me, for Jamaica. Also played in the 2017 Gold Cup, was routined in all three, was involved in all three knockout stage matches, also featured in the final against the United States. Up until this year, that was one of the better Gold Cup campaigns in the Reggae Boys international history. Gordon himself with an extensive array of USL championship experience. Now finds himself in League One for the kickers. Another man that Richmond is hoping to get going on the goal scoring front in the coming weeks. Still a, looking to break through with more consistency. Here's Ani. And Johnson finds Fitch. Crosses for Bentley, and it stood up well. Now Gamiro. Vignal's going to work. And knocked out of play for Northern Colorado throw. Can't watch the match? Turn on Sirius XM FC 157, North America's only 24-7 source for engaging soccer talk, including USL All Access Tuesday nights at 7 Eastern. Plus here, live matches from the USL, MLS, English Premier League, and more, all on Sirius XM 157 and the SXM app. Hearing word, it's going to be three minutes of added time separating Northern Colorado from a historic 12th straight match unbeaten. A second half masterclass has the Hailstorm in prime position for their ninth win in that 12 match span. Indicated a minimum of three minutes will be added to the second half. It won't be another clean sheet for Lalo Delgado tonight, but I don't think he'll be complaining either. Here's Rogers. Miscommunication between Johnson and Fitch, and the Hillstorm can burn a little more time. An emphatic second half response with three separate goal scorers, none of them being named Trevor Ammon, as the home side in a terrific spot in stoppage time. Here's Powder, now for Rogers, and it's a simple game of keep away for the men in orange. You know, the final minute of added time. Hope slowly waning for the visitors. Looks like they will suffer their second defeat in the last three matches.
Meanwhile, for Northern Colorado, it was under threat at halftime, but they will remain unbeaten at home as Bruno Rendon seems to be dealing with a bit of a cramp as we approach full time. He's put in quite the shift over the course of these 90 minutes. Northern Colorado makes history. A 12th consecutive match unbeaten for the first time in USL League One history. And the Hailstorm go five points clear atop the USL League One table. Lucky Oprah, Marky Hernandez, and Billy King anchor the turnaround for Hailstorm as they win 3-1 here at the Future Legends Complex in a massive result for the men in orange tonight. Trevor Ammon had a couple chances go begging, but it didn't matter because the rest of his supporting teammates stepped up and the Hailstorm continue their attacking onslaught. Let's take a look at the play of the match presented by Meadow Gold and it's Marky Hernandez's game winner. You see the cross come in, Ammon just deflects it and it eventually is touched over the line by the substitute, a super sub that put Northern Colorado in front for good in the 72nd minute. From there, the home side did not look back as they notched a ninth win in a 12 match span. The league leaders up and rolling here from Northern Colorado. We're gonna step aside here on ESPN Plus, a 3-1 victory for the league leaders tonight as they go a 12th consecutive match unbeaten to kickstart a three match in seven day span. We're gonna step aside when we return. Some half, some full time stats and highlights. Welcome, I'm Jason Olskar. I'm here with Jackie and Michelle and we are the Olskar team powered by C3 Real Estate Solutions. We are proud to partner with Future Legends to help fulfill the lifestyle needs, wants, and desires of each family who wants to call Colorado home. C3 stands for character, culture, and commitment. That is core to who we are and the exceptional value that every client will experience when working with us. If you value working with an experienced team, we invite you to reach out to schedule a time to meet with us. Shields All Sports Store is your one stop for everything outdoors, with local experts eager to guide you through the widest selection of brands. Your one stop for exercise gear, to get working out, or fashions for going out. And your one stop for footwear, in your size, your style, yours to take home today. Shields, employee owned, community minded, and like no place you've ever shopped before. here on ESPN Plus from the Future Legends Complex where Northern Colorado Hailstorm notches a 3-1 victory over the visiting Richmond Kickers as the hero Marky Hernandez signing autographs in the post-match. Well, it was a cagey affair in the first half, but things really turned up in the second. Let's take a look at the full-time highlights. It began in the 19th minute. Michael Hornsby strolling down the left flank. A deflected cross by Leo Fola finds its way into the back of the net. Just an excellent run by Hornsby, who pretty much manufactures this goal from thin air, and the confusion does the rest. It was a frustrating first half for Northern Colorado, then eventually started to turn the tide in the second. You see that chance trickle over to Akira Fitzgerald from what looked to be Stefan Lukic. And after that, the ensuing corner 
drew the equalizer. Lucky Oprah, the 23-year-old Nigerian, rises like a salmon, heads it into the top left corner to level the scoreline. Arthur Rogers' deliveries from set pieces today were spectacular. That was no exception. And then eventually, Northern Colorado continuing to press forward. Marky Hernandez narrowly missing the far post after the cheeky back heel from Stefan Lukic, a substitute, substitute connection nearly giving Northern Colorado the lead. But then Hernandez finally got his goal. It eventually trickles through and he just taps it beyond the oncoming defender. It was King's Cross, Ammon's initial hit, and then Hernandez just forcing it over the line to give the Hailstorm the lead. And then Billy King wrapped up all three points with a sensational curler. Fitzgerald got a palm to it. It didn't matter. Enough force on that on the counter to wrap up all three points for the home side as they notch a league record 12th consecutive match unbeaten. Well, here's your look at the full-time stats. These numbers have completely turned. Yes, Northern Colorado still the edge possession-wise, but at halftime did not have a single shot on target. They end the night with 18 shots, six of which found the frame. Meanwhile, Richmond kickers notching just two shots in the second half, none of which found the target after a nine-shot, two-on-goal performance in the opening 45 minutes. Discipline-wise, two for either player, one for the head coach for in Eamon Zayed. That'll wrap up our coverage from Windsor, Colorado tonight. A 3-1 victory for the Hailstorm as they notch a ninth win in the last 12 matches to go five clear atop the USL League One table. So for our terrific crew, myself, Sam Goldfarb, we'd like to thank you for joining us. The league leaders flipped the match on its head in the second half and earned a hard-fought three points at home. Have a good night, everyone. This copyrighted telecast of the United Soccer League, League One, cannot be retransmitted, rebroadcast, or reproduced without the expressed written consent of the United Soccer League, League One.